man, say man, it's your boy Smudgeon Back with another video, man, now look I have not dropped a story time since like Since probably I had like 300k subscribers or something like that I haven't dropped the story time since So I figured it is the right time to bring y'all a story time Today is the day I bring it to y'all how I lost my virginity. <laughs> now, before this video starts, make sure you get your popcorn, your drink, your little, your little bath. I know you want your little, get your, get your little beverage, you know, get your meal, your dinner, your bro, whatever time you're watching this at, get something, you know, lay back, relax, and enjoy this story time. Now, I'm not gonna be like one of those dudes that be like, man, I lost my virginity when I was six, when I was 10. No, 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 look. I am gonna keep it 100% factual, dropping straight facts on you, you dig what I'm saying? So look, it all started out junior year of high school. Now, for my young people out there, a junior is an 11th grader. I was six, I was 16 at the time, y'all, 16 going on 17. Now, uh, let me just give you a rundown. Middle school, you know, smooth Gio, he was he was fat, you dig what I'm saying? Like, he he, he wanted the girls, but I just wasn't getting no girls at the time. I'ma just keep it a butt with you. I was not getting no poop, not any, no, no females, no nothing in middle school. You dig what I'm saying? I was just chilling with the bros, you know, cracking jokes, shit like that. But ninth grade, you dig what I'm saying? Ninth grade, I slammed down, you know. It was like, eh, eh, you know. 10th grade, <laughs> that's when, that's when a little smooth started getting a little, a little sauce, you know, I, I started to get a little sauce in 10th grade, that's when, you feel me, I try, I don't know what I do, I miss 10th, 10th grade, I miss you, then junior year came, you know, they, it's just like each year was getting better and better, and I remember each time I used to be like, damn, I have to lose my virginity, man, I just, I gotta, I gotta do it until it all finally happened. So look, let me give you the rundown. So let me tell you about the girl. Now the girl, I am not gonna, I'm not gonna say any names, you know, we just gonna keep that. We just, we gonna keep that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So look, I ain't gonna say no names, but this girl here, um, it was a Spanish girl, but you, you know those Spanish girls that look white. So look, picture this in your head. It was a Spanish girl that she kind of looked white, you know, brown hair, big booty, I'm talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, big booty. You know, the body was good. Face, it was decent, it was a decent face. I'll say probably like a 7.5 out of 10 or something like that. Look, like I said, I, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat none. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so actually, I was 16 at the time and she was 19. I actually forgot how I met her, you dig know what I'm saying? She didn't go to my school or none of that. I think I met her through Instagram. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, I think I met her on Instagram and I also had her Snapchat and eventually I got her number. So this all uh, took a two week process until we first chilled. Now, the first time we chilled, you know, I didn't have a car, you know, I was 16 at the time. I only had my permit, you know, I didn't have my license. So somehow I went over to her best friend's house. Now, when I went to her best friend's house, it was her and her best friend. Now, when I went there, you know, I was just chilling. You know, I'm observing. I'm observing everything. I'm watching my surroundings, you know. I'm looking around, aware of my surroundings. I'm just chilling right here, you feel me? I'm vibing. I'm just, you know. And they, you know, they were just like, you know, why aren't you talking that much, blah, blah, blah. And also, that day is when they came up with a code name for me. I remember she used to call me Case because, you know, I was 16, she was 19, you know, she didn't want to catch a case. So that was her nickname for me, Case. You dig what I'm saying? You know, I'm a Mac Daddy, you feel me? That's why she was 19. I'm a Mac Daddy, you dig what I'm saying? But look, so that was the first time of us chilling, you know, nothing went down. It was just like a cool vibe, you know, I was just laid back. I'm laid back, you dig what I'm saying? So I was just chilling, nothing went down. But the second time, ooh, ooh, ooh. So the second time when we chilled, it was probably like, 
couple days after um she actually had to go pick up her little brother from school now her little brother was probably like i want to say three years younger than me or yeah probably about three years younger than me so we had to go pick him up from school she asked me if she if i wanted to come with her and you know i said yeah you know i didn't have anything to do at the time so i said yes why not so we went it was me and her she went to go pick up the little brother she brought her back to the house you know little man to the house you know i don't got time to talk to little man i'm trying to stick my little man in her you know what i'm saying so look we dropped little man back to the house on the way when we were picking him up uh, her little brother she's just like why are you so quiet in the car and in my head, it's because in my head, I had so much stuff going through my head that I was just like, you know, you know how you have like so much stuff going through your head that you don't even talk. You're just thinking about a bunch of stuff. So she just driving, bumping her music like, ah, ah, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I'm chilling in the passenger seat like, shit like that. Like, I hope this girl let me, woo, woo. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. No, okay. 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 Ah! <laughs> But yeah, so we ended up dropping her little brother back off home. And while we we're at her house, she said, do you want to just vibe here or do you want to head back home? And I told her, yeah, let's head back to my house. You know, so once we got back to my house, um, we ended up parking up and I wasn't going to bring her inside my house because uh, my mom didn't know her. And I just felt like that is very disrespectful to my mom just to bring up a girl that she didn't even know. You dig what I'm saying? That's not even my girl or nothing like that. So as we were in the parking lot, we was just chilling. And I kind of felt like she was in her feelings, you know, like I said, because I wasn't talking that much. I was just talking a little bit. So she was in her feelings. She said, Gio, let's get to know each other. Like just on some one-on-one -on -one, me and you type. Let's get to know each other. Tell me about yourself. You know, um, ask me questions about me. So we talked for about a good 20 minutes, you know. Then we ended up in the back seat. Now for my men and women out there, y'all know. Y'all know what that means, you feel me? Y'all know what the back seat means. I ended up telling her, I said, you trying to go to the back? She looked at me and she said, okay. So once he said that, I said, it is go time. It is go time. So as we got out the car and went to the back seat, we was just chilling there for about a good five minutes until we started. You feel me? Look, we started making out. You feel me? It took five minutes in the back seat until we started making out. We started making out for about a good two minutes. She stopped making out with me. She said, I'm not going to lie. You are a great kisser. Now, when she told me that, my, my, look, 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 she was 19. I was 16. So, you know my confidence level. My confidence level was just boosting. I felt so good. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Yes, sir. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. So, when she told me that, I was like, ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. But that's not even it. That is not even it because once we were making out again, her hands was on my face and it slowly just started going down on my body until it reached. You know what it reached. You know what it reached now. Nah. So she had, look, look, look. I, I, want, I don't want to, I don't want to make this story rated R, but from the looks of it, it's going to have to be rated R. So she started moving her hands down on me. You feel me, baby, go down on me. Yeah, you dig what I'm saying? So she had her hands on my, on my, 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 um, my, 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 my little noodle. Yeah, she, she had her hands on my little noodle. She was rubbing on me, stuff like that. And that's when she whipped it up. <laughs> See, yes, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. She gonna whip that thing out. So as she whipped it out, she just started, oh, damn, I don't want this, I don't want this story to be ready to art, but man, f it, man. So she just started, you know, stroking me, you know, stroking my, stroking my noodle. She just started stroking my noodle. And I was just, look at her. We made eye contact. Her head goes down. I say, oh, you feel me? So she just starts giving me head. Yes, she started giving me head. And like I said, I am gonna drop straight facts in this video, no lies, straight facts. She started giving me head, and I was just like, ah, ah, cause 
I was I was just thinking like, damn, she's 19, I'm 16, I'm really getting away with Lisa. You dig what I'm saying? So after we finished, you know, I had to, you know, I had to pull up my pants, but um, we were just still sitting back there, and I ended up telling her, I said, look, I am a virgin, and most of the time when you tell a female that, they will not believe you. So I told her that, and she was just like, but stop playing like. But you know you ain't no virgin, and like I was like for real, like I'm a virgin, like I'm not even gonna lie, like I'm a virgin, like I've never been in anything, like you know. What I'm saying? She was like, you, are you for real? I was like, yes. She was like, oh my god, you feel me? So she got excited once she found out I was a virgin. She wanted to take my virginity away from me. She wanted to take Lil Smooth Geo's virginity. So after that, she went home, you know, I went inside the house or whatever, and we just kept texting. So about a, a couple of days, let's just say two, three, four days passed by, you know, we just kept texting about the situation, about her taking my virginity from me. You know, we were excited about it. You know, we just couldn't wait till that day came. So that day came. This was the third time chilling with her. And you know what they say, third time's a charm. And in this situation, it sure was a charm. So I believe it was a Monday or a Tuesday, you know, she hit me up, she said, Gio, are we still, you know, are we still on for the night? I said, yeah, for sure, you did know what I'm saying? So she said, all right, I'm on my way. So as she was on her way, I hopped in the shower. You know, I, 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 I was cleaning real good. I had, you know, I had to walk down there too. You dig know what I'm saying? So I, I had to make sure I was super clean. I put on my cologne and stuff like that. And as I got out the shower, I got a text message from her that said, I am two minutes away. Once I got that text message, I was like, oh, oh, it is go time it is go time the moment i've been waiting for so as i got that text message i put on my pants i threw on a shirt i put on my jacket zipped it up grabbed my phone texted her i'm on my way So after I texted her, I'm on my way, my heart dropped. You know how your heart just starts racing like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. and I started pacing back and forth in my room. Like literally, I was like this. I was going back and forth, back and forth, making sure I had everything that I needed because I knew once I got in her car, there was no turning back. So I made sure I grabbed my wallet, I made sure I grabbed my keys, and most importantly, I made sure I grabbed that damn condom. <laughs> y'all chill, y'all chill. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Gio, what condom did you use? This condom right here. <laughs> so I done put on my flip flops, my little slides, you know, I didn't have the Gucci slides at the time, you know, I, I wasn't really balling like that, you dig what I'm saying? So these were the Nike slides, I put on my Nike slides, and I walked outside. Now when I walked outside, I said, <sighs> you dig what I'm saying? I had to, I had to, because I knew. Once I went in that thing, ooh, I was gonna become the king. You do what I'm saying? You feeling me right now? So as I was outside, I was looking for a car. I was like, damn, where the hell is it? So I gave her a call and she was just like, I don't park, I parked there where that went. You know, I, I forgot where she parked. So once I found out where she parked, I walked to the car and I got in the back. See, now I know that was kind of wrong of me. I didn't even go in the passenger seat or nothing. I just went straight to the back seat. And once I sat in the back seat, she turned around. She said, well, damn. I was like, my bad, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you told me you was trying to look the whoop and I'm trying to, uh, uh. You know, I ain't mean to just get in the back. I guess I was just too excited at the time. But yeah, I'm sorry, that was, I should have at least greeted her or something. But 
as I was in the back, she got out the car and went to the back seat. You know, we greeted each other. You know, hey, hello, how you doing? Yeah, they know what I'm saying? So we started talking. You know, we were just chilling. I didn't want to go straight into it because I felt like, you know, let's just talk a little bit, you know? So we started talking for about 10 minutes. And after those 10 minutes, you know what happened. I'm going to repeat it. Hold on. Roll the clip. Exactly. So we started making out again. And once we started making out, the same thing happened. Roll the clip. We made eye contact. Her head goes down. I say, oh! So yes, she gave me head again. And I ain't gonna lie, that head game was amazing. But look, that's besides the point. So anyway, after that, that's when it all happened. So I whipped out the condom. Yeah, straight out there. I said, you did what I'm saying? So I opened it up and I put it on. And the reason I knew how to put it on correctly is because I actually tried it before. You did what I'm saying? So once it was on, I looked at her. She looked at me and she got on top of me. Now, once she got on top of me, you know, I'm a virgin at the time, so I didn't know how to, you know, stick it in. So she had to do that for me. She stuck it in. She said, you dig what I'm saying? So once it was on, I was just like, I can't believe it. You know, I can't believe it. You know, I can't believe it. So she was on top of me. And as she was on top of me, she started bouncing and riding like the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? You know, like Old Town Road. I want to ride till I can't no more. Exactly. So as all of this was happening, I was just thinking to myself like, damn, like, this is what it really feels like. Like, I'm actually in it, you feel me? I'm in it to win it. But little did I know, about 30 seconds passed by, and I was done. Yes, I was in that thing for about a good 30 to 45 seconds. I'm not even gonna lie, look, like I said, I was a virgin, so it's okay. Everybody's first time is like that, so, if you're watching this and you're still a virgin, don't be afraid. Come on, man. Tighten up, bro. So, yes, that is how I lost my virginity for all of you guys that were wondering. But hold on. Do not click off this video yet because I am not finished. So, once the night was over, a couple more days passed by again. So I grabbed my phone and I texted her. Round two? Oh God. Uh. It's crazy, but it's true. Let's go. Superstar status, yeah. All dead presidents. Papa Sills on Pice of Red. Superstar status, yeah. They finally gave me a chance.